G'day folks, this is the new 530 Stealth Hornet. In this video and the following two videos, we're going to tell you everything and show you everything about this boat. So let's get this thing out in the water. This is what I call trouble-free boating. Quintrex and Evinrude. So how much fun was that, so I went out in this bass boat thinking, okay, it's a bass fishing boat, Barra, flicking lures, mate, I come back with the idea of putting a ski pole on this thing and turn it into a ski boat. How amazing. Went like a ton of breath, 88 kilometers an hour was our maximum speed, that was with me in it by myself. Um, pole shot, like it's on the plane in half the boat length, it's just, incredible it's it turns equivalent to an apex hull it's as stable as an apex hull and it's a hornet it's got the big heavy bottom it's designed to maximum stability i was flat out hanging on in some of those tight corners i was doing the g-forces i had me foot i don't know if the drone shows it but i had me foot nearly jammed into the rod locker because it was just pure g-force there was no rocking and rolling around corners. I'd go back over my own wake like I was running over something this big. The boat itself throws very little wake. Um, we bored down a creek there at one stage and we were doing 70 k's an hour and it was hardly a ripple in the water. As far as a fun boat goes, you'd buy one of these just to go out and have fun and if you fish like I do, which is traditional out the back of the boat with alvies, you'd learn how to fish with lures and be flicking them purely just to own this boat and justify it. The owner of Quintrex has one of these as his own personal boat, so that's telling you something, that they're not just a boat for die-hard impoundment fishermen. This is the type of boat that does your impoundments, does your creeks, does your rivers, does your estuaries. You're not going to take it offshore, like, let's don't kid ourselves there. We've got bugger all freeboard in this boat. Like you, you wouldn't want to be standing out in a three meter swell with 50 mil of freeboard. But it's not to say that the boat wouldn't handle it. Uh, the G2 is just the perfect option on this boat because what the G2 does that no other motor does, it gives you that sports car feeling of driving. No effort, no brains required. Automatically trims itself quiet as a mouse and when this thing gets up and bangs like when I had it I was trimming it over the limit at 88 k's an hour it sounded like a Grand Prix. Okay, so let's run through a few of the features on this boat and a few of the non-standard features just so people aren't thinking, well, if I just order one straight out of the book, this is how I'm going to get it. So obviously the wrap is an optional extra and, and this just makes this boat look. It would still be a beautiful boat in traditional white with the Quintrex stripes, but you know, this is just said the picture here. Available in many different styles too. You don't have to have Trevallis on the side of it empowerment boat do you? The dual console, the extra navigator console, it brings this boat to be like the bass boats we're all getting used to seeing over in the US and what they're racing to, to catch in there, you know these million dollar comps that they run, Well, where look, speed is the essence to look, get, yeah. When when I was in it, I, they, those handles, I found myself grabbing onto them as well. Hmm. Well they are an option too, the handles, um, and just I'll tell you what, 
I wouldn't have one without them. Nah, it just you know, adds to the features of the boat. We've fitted a nice uh, Elite 9 Ti in the dash here. It's just the right size, you know, it's not the whole dash. It's big enough, it's small enough. It just looks right. These new steering wheels, beautiful feel. I love them with the power steering of the GT because I just put my finger in here and just turn it around like I'm driving a my wife's Mercedes. Let's start in the back of the boat. So these boats are licensed for four people. Now you're not gonna want any more than four people in one of these boats flicking lures. Yes, it only has three seats. There is room for someone to sit in that front casting deck, which I'll show you later. But the unique feature here, driver's seat is a sliding adjustable seat. I drive it like I'm driving a car, I like it right back. But have a look at this Billy. Casting deck. So one person is up here, or two, one aside, comfortably, flicking lures, all the room in the world. We have an abundance of storage room in this boat and hatches, so huge area under there. Huge area here, and in, again, another huge area here. But in this side, we've got a battery and our water separator filter. There's still room for another two or three batteries just under that side, if that's what no, you, you say. Put a whole heap of camping gear under there. Oh, look, you put a family in here. One advantage of these boats with um, the G2 on the back is clean rigging. So this tube here contains everything. Fuel, control box, wires, cables, battery, everything, one tube. No hydraulic ram here, because we've got power steering, remember. So, it makes it easy enough to hop on any side of the boat. I can walk right away around this transom and the motor's tilted up. How many boats can you do that? Again, you could put some more sea deck on this area here with the motor trimmed down. There's room here to, for a person to fish right at the back of the boat. So have a look at all this room we've got here. All casting deck. You know, you've got 5.3 metres of usable room on this boat. We can walk all the way around the edge. We've got nice flat top decks. Again, tons of storage room. Bring your camera over here, Billy. Another little thing here that is a unique feature. A little wet, little wet box here. It can be used as a kill tank. Chuck some ice in there, it's plumbed, so it drains into the bilge area. We've got these little stays that sit up here. They take the weight off of this casting deck when you've got a big fella like me walking on top of it. As you can see, I can fit in behind the steering wheel. We have glove boxes in both sides under the consoles. People say, well, where do you put your rods? There's no rod holders in the side. The type of people that are doing competition barra fishing and that, they're using rods worth a thousand bucks. They're not gonna chuck them in a rod holder. They're not gonna lay them on the deck. They're gonna want them locked away in a beautiful little storage locker. And as you can see, you know, it's a fully lined area too. It's not just, let's just leave the raw aluminium there and we'll just chuck our rods in there. It's all carpeted and nicely set out. It's a lockable rod locker. All of these hatches, as you can see, have keys in them. They can all be totally locked up. So this is the type of boat you can park on the side of the road. You're spending a night in a motel and no one's gonna steal $6,000 worth of rods and all your beautiful lures and everything. So, um, my apologies. You can see a bit of um, aluminium swarf in there, but as I said, this boat comes straight from the factory to us and we've taken it straight to the water.
So we've got a huge plum live well area here. We've got more rotomold areas here, wet storage areas, bait, whatever you want to whack in there. And oh, so this side here, we've filled up with safety gear. So it's pretty well chock a block. Well, I shouldn't say chock a block. And we've got all this room spare on this side. That's where you can put the wife and kids. Another battery box there. That's ready for our Minkota that we're about to fit on this once we get some room in the workshop. Another little neat feature of this boat is the lack of people are thinking, where's the nav lights? Well, the nav lights plug into the front on the bow and simply just pops in here, screw down, there's our navigation light. So why? Why not have reds and, reds and greens on the side of the boat? The whole feature of this boat is to have a clear top deck area. If you're sliding a fish over the edge of this boat, you know, floating it up to the side and dragging it over, the last thing you want to do is be caught around a light. So if you're using the boat at night, you're putting this in, otherwise, pull it out, turn the plug, put it in the glove box. Look at the size of it. Great innovative idea. Well, this is that fourth seat I was saying. Have a look at this. No fear here. You sit down here, I'm out of the way, tucked in. So there's your option to put that fourth person in this boat comfortably. We haven't got removable seats to drop in spigots and take up room. The feature of this boat is this clean top area from the decks through to the casting deck. So that pretty well sums up our on-water test and the features of this boat. But, you know, stay tuned, watch out for our next video. I'm gonna um, talk to you about the BMT process. What is BMT and why would you buy a BMT boat from a Quintrex deal? G'day, Les here, just finishing off another deal. Do you like our YouTube videos? Well, hit the subscribe button. You know that subscribe button there? You'll become part of the family of Calandra Marine and get given the latest opportunity to watch our YouTube videos as they become available. So get behind us, we get behind you, hit subscribe.